Do you want to highlight a menu option or other text like this? Here's how to do it. When you insert a shape into a title, notice that you have a lot of options. However, the one problem is that all of these shapes are solid. What if you want an outline? For this tutorial, I'm using a photo so that I can highlight a menu option using the outline of a rectangle. The first thing I'll do is make the photo big enough so that it's easy for me to see when I'm building my shape. Then I'll show you how to animate it. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. That photo looks good. I need to select titles from the menu in the upper left corner and choose a standard title. This one looks good. I'll long press on it and drag it down into the timeline and place it above my photo. I don't need it to be this long, so I'll split the clip at the end and remove the extra footage. Now I'll double tap on the title clip. Now I'll tap on the titles icon and expand the ear text here and tap on the trash can to delete it. Now I'll add a shape. I'll tap on the plus sign to add a layer and choose shape. The rectangle is fine, but as you can see, it's a solid rectangle, so it will not work as it is. I need to shrink it down to completely cover the menu option I want to highlight. Use the sliders provided or pinch and zoom to get the rectangle to the size and shape that you want it. Make sure the audio format option is completely covered. Once I've got the rectangle in place, I'll pull down the opacity to see what the menu option looks like underneath the rectangle. Once I'm satisfied, I'll move the opacity back up to 100% using the slider. Next, I'll tap on edge color and change it to the color that I want to use for this box. I also need to play around with the width of the edge line to make it a little bit thicker and easier to see. That looks great. The next step is to change the face color of this shape to green. That's because I'm going to key it out later using the chroma key feature. I'll tap on the screen to dismiss the color wheel and then tap on color and effects. The final step is to remove the green color from the rectangle so you can see the text underneath. I'll tap on the chroma key option and choose the green screen key. The green color has been removed and you can see the text underneath. Next, I'll adjust the hue range, saturation range and brightness range back to the white dashes. These are the recommended values for the green screen key. If you go back to the title screen, you'll see the green color will reappear. But when I go back to the main timeline, the green color will disappear once more because the green screen key has been applied. I'm going to save this as a preset so that I can use it in all of my future videos where I want to highlight menu options or a specific text. Tap the star, give your title a name, your save title will be located in the preset titles area. Let's animate the box so that it appears on the screen by the end of the next video clip. Bring down the shape that you just created into the main timeline and position it where you want. You may need to adjust the size and position of your shape. I'll do that now. Be sure to completely cover the text you want to highlight so that when you remove the face color, the text will appear in the exact center of the box. Use the handles on your shape to size and position it just right. This may take some time. Next, tap on the chroma key option 
within color and effects. You can choose the green screen key. Adjust the values back to the white notches because these are the recommended values for the green screen key. To animate the box, I'm going to tap on frame and fit and then tap on cropping. As you can see, you can crop from the left, top, right, and bottom. I'm going to crop this from the right so that when it appears on screen, it will appear from left to right. Move the right slider until you don't see the red box on the screen and drop a keyframe by tapping on the plus sign next to the word crop. A blue dot should appear. This is a keyframe. Now move to the end of the clip and change the right slider back to the notch so that you can see the entire red box on the screen. This will automatically create a keyframe. Back out of the clip editor and go back to the main timeline. Move to the beginning of the clip and play the video. Remember to let your editing software work for you and not the other way around.